Well, it'll be really exciting uh, to connect. Here we are at Union Station in Denver to Fort Collins, to Longmont, to Boulder without having to get in a car, uh, competing on both time and cost with, with getting where you want to go. It'll really help make our community more accessible uh, for visiting uh, Denver, Fort Collins, as well as for daily commuters. Have you ridden a train before in other places? Well, of course, I've ridden trains in Colorado as yeah. well. I uh, rode the ski train. We also did a uh, sort of a pilot. We did Denver to, to Longmont, to Boulder. Um, and of course, uh, I, was in, I served in the United States Congress for 10 years, so trains are well developed in Washington, D.C., New York, Philadelphia. I mean, you get where you want to go on train, it's a lot easier, you don't have to park or anything like that. It's going to be on the 2026 uh, ballot for a tax. Do you think that's going to pass? Do you think the people of Colorado want a train? I think absolutely people want front range rail uh, all the way Pueblo to Fort Collins, and to make that a reality along with better passenger rail to the mountains. Uh, we have uh, a ski train that already goes Denver to Winter Park. We want to expand that to Steamboat Springs, also taking some of that traffic off of Highway 70, which will prevent some of those congestions people have. What are the biggest concerns that you have uh, looking forward, at, perhaps administratively or practically, um, for this train to happen? Well, I think the, the ridership is there. People are eager for this. Uh, we just have to make sure we have the convenience of the routes, the time, uh, to be able to meet the demand. Yeah. As far as safety goes, um, do you think rail is more safe or less safe than what Well, we you know, it's not just place? what I think. Uh, <laughs> factually, it's far safer than driving. Uh, absolutely. By mile traveled, by time uh, driving, um, you know, of course, uh, there's accidents almost every day and tragically some of those end in loss of life. So uh, absolutely, it'll reduce fatalities and injuries uh, if more people choose to uh, get where they want to go via passenger rail as well. Yes. One last question. So the uh, population of the Front Range is supposed to expand greatly um, in the next couple of years. So um, how, uh, how will that affect uh, the environment if we don't have a train? Yeah, it makes it even more important to bring in passenger rail because absent that with more people, it means more congestion on our highways and roads, worse air quality, taking longer to get where you want to go. And passenger rail is a big part of the solution with that, along with making sure we have more housing near job centers so people can afford to live close to work. Most people would rather live close to where they want to go, but sometimes they're forced to live further away simply for cost reasons. So we want more housing near job centers and make it easier to get where you want to go, including with passenger rail and bus. That's going to be a key part. And even for somebody who just drives every day and wants to keep driving, they will benefit too, because it means less traffic and congestion for them if others choose to take passenger rail. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.